Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to go way back and actually finish one of the projects that I started. Must be six years ago. You might be able to see it. Here. Here. These are the wide body front fenders for the SF5 Forester. So I've got the left hand side one there done in fiberglass. No prep done though. We still have the original panel in this right hand one. You can see how many summers this has been in storage. The plasticine is. Alright, so just inspecting some of the tabs that we need to locate for clipping in other things. Um, this one down here needs a little bit more behind it so that doesn't break off. Up here, because I haven't touched it for a few years, um, I've scuffed it up with some 80 grit. I'm going to put some, I'm going to put some resin onto it, and then we'll put the fiberglass on. Let that set. Drill holes all the way through so it all matches, and then we'll trim it up, and then we'll be able to pull the mold off the plug, so the original panel, and then we can produce a part. So hopefully, we can start making a part this weekend it is friday night now chop up some fiberglass and mix up some resin and get this started all right so we've got the big lengths cut we've got two about 100 mil thick ones that a 20 mil thick one and a 10 mil so 10 on the vertical 20 hanging over so we'll have four layers on these edges and then i just got some off cuts I'll put in to strengthen there's some carbon fiber in there just some scraps so yeah let's get to it I've patched up some of these pieces I've cut little bits and stuffed it in there so we just have to put some resin in um, to there and around that tab mostly concerned about um, this has got a couple of layers on it so we don't really need to do anything about that we can when we clean up the edges, what I'll do with the resin that I've got left over, I'll go around the edges because it doesn't have any resin on it. It's going to make it harder to trim up. It's all fluffy. So make sure they're hard, easy to cut. Sorry it's taking so long to get this done, guys. But yeah, I've just gotten back into the my built SF5, so let's finish off this project. That I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah Please tell me all the bad, never good Fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong I won't stop to the top, so you better back off I get lost, I'ma stay loud, stay proud Never running out, never heading south I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth Can't put me down, I'll be getting loud You can never doubt, know what I'm about Have your fucking cloud, it be raining now I keep making sound, go another round Tell me legend bound, can't stop me now Well, that didn't go as planned. I couldn't get that top edge. Um, uh, it's not that important. It's more this edge along here. These are the mounting edges. So, I'll show you on here. So that's this edge here. Where it mounts. Whereas that one is just that side that I pretty much cut off. So, not that important. All right, I'm finally back on this. Bit of a busy weekend with kids' sports and parties. I just went ahead and about every 100 mil drilled a hole. I put um, M6 bolts in. Haven't tightened them up yet. So what I'm going to do is tighten them up, get the angle grinder, and just cut a nice straight line, clean line. And I'll trim up this top section, and instead of rushing this and trying to get it out quick. I'll redo that top because it's not the best. So we'll trim that up, and lay down some more fiberglass, make sure it's good. So you don't want to stuff this up after five years. We're just being impatient for a weekend. So yeah, we'll get the angle runner out, cut that so we've got a nice straight edge. Um, trim that part too. These are all hard here too. And that down 
All right, you clean up the edges, I'm mixing up 40 grams, should be enough. I'll brush that on. Got some carbon fiber there, and we've got some fiberglass. So hopefully we can get this looking good. I'll do some up this way as well, on the better parts, like here and here. It's flush. And I can see a gap. I'll try to fill that up. Alright guys, it's nearly six o'clock. And we'll come out when the boys are in bed, so 8.30, 9 o'clock. Hopefully this should be all dry. And we'll pull the guard out of the mould. So these are all bolted. I'll just have to unbolt all of them. And then we'll get some trim tools in there and try to pry out the metal panel from that. We'll get this section off first because we won't be able to get it out. Alright guys, it's the next day. We are set. It took a little bit longer than I thought. So, all good. Let's uh, get all these bolts out and get this mould off the plug. The original guard there. It's been in there for quite some time. Hopefully it will release. I can't remember what release agent I used. Hopefully it's wax and I did a good job of it. Let's get to it. Alright, we have all the bolts out. I'm just going to try to pry this up with a trim tool. Hopefully this is coming off good. Might have locked it in over this edge. There we go. There's the top section. It says Subaru here still, <laughs> which is awesome. So yeah, now now we can go back and clean these edges up really good. Trim it up nice. So this is the flange where we bolt it. Actually worked out pretty good. Alright. So this isn't good. We don't want that. So we'll have to repair that. Which is this area here, I think. Anyways, let's try to get this guard out. So just like then, just got to go slowly around the edge and start popping it out. And then it should be good. See there, that's locked in. It's on the back side of it. So we're going to trim that bit up. Alright, so the mounting locations look like they've all freed up. Let's see. Couple of little spots. It's not happy. There we go. Hey! How was that? Been trapped in there for like five years. Wow. Look at 
put that back on the fire stuff. Most of you probably haven't even seen this on the Forester. That's how long it's been. Wow. Alright, got a bit of cleaning up to do. Tidying of the mould. So to get this PVA. Oh yes. Damn it. That's a really important line. Fix that. So to clean it up, you wash wash it with um, water, get rid of the PVA, that blue stuff, and then we'll trim it up and fix. <sighs> Got to fix that. That was really bad. It's like no fiberglass there. Uh, it's not good. Sweet, finally it's out. I've got my guard back. <laughs> Maybe I should put it back on the car. The other side is bad. Uh, the other side is missing paint. Yeah. Uh, got a bit of a chip there. All right, boys. So it's the next day. What I'm going to do tonight is clean up around the areas that need to be fixed up and we're going to put some gel coat into those areas so what we can do is tape up around the area get this on the right angle to fill it up so yeah peel some of this back tape up on this edge so it's flat and uh, fill that up again could also Put the panel back in. We'll um, we could wax that area up, pop it back into the mold, and it'll give us a, a pretty decent shape. Pretty sure I've got to fill this in here. Looks like this is where it mounts here, so you can see. Alright, guys. So I decided to chop this section out of the mold because it was hollow. It's not going to be strong and it's a very important part that the bumper mounts up to. So chop that all out. We're going to tuck the guard back in and we'll redo that. So I'll clean up here and we'll wax up the all the area. I've done some there. Also did a hole through here. So after that's dry, we'll flip it over and we'll go from that side and fill in just the end of the flare there. It's a pretty important part as well. So hopefully we can get this looking good. Alright guys, I've got it back in the mould. We are doing this bottom section now. This is the neutral um, gel coat. And I've made a little dam up here with some tape. So I filled in that hole with gel coat as well. So I'll go inside. Watch something on Netflix about an hour come back out um, see how it is if it's tacky and just leaves like a fingerprint we're good to go with the uh, resin the fiberglass so hopefully we can lay that up tonight it is quarter to 11 now so it's gonna be a late one but might not even need it over here actually but I'll, I'll, I'll put a patch over it because it might act as a plug and just pop out the other side but yeah nice and thick it's good all right guys it's about an hour later it's a little bit tacky so the fiberglass is going to stick to that it's going to form properly it's going to be good haven't got much left on this sd so let's get stuck into it um i'm not going to show you i'll show you tomorrow pulling it out again Alright guys, it's the next day, clamps are off, let's uh, see how this releases, looks a lot better, might be a little bit of a, an edge on there, so should come out alright, and hopefully a bit over here is good too. Alright, should come out fairly easy, should. <laughs> Yeah, 
I don't want to put any tools in there. Let's damage it. Yes. There we go. There we go. Alright, this little bit here needs a little bit of work. I'll send that back. And this side, this side here, this looks freaking awesome. It's really good. The transition is smooth. Just need to clean up this edge a bit. That edge is fine. We need to get this plus seam out. Sick. Awesome. Alright guys, I'm pretty happy with that. I need to clean this up and clean up the edges. So might leave that to the weekend. So that will be another episode guys. I know I said I'll try to get one out but we need to trim this up and it's gonna be loud. And uh can't really do it during the week. So we'll come back during the day on the weekend and clean this up and lay up finally the right hand side wide body guard. We can get him onto the car. But yeah, sick. I'm gonna leave this episode here guys pretty happy thanks for watching if you enjoyed it hit that like button and stay tuned for next episode on the guard when we get it done and fit it to the car